Here is another of my buyer's guide with some indication to see if a car is a good buy or not. Here we have a Porsche 911 and it is always important to understand how, mod how many modifications have been made compared to the original cars. So the first thing that I can notice here is that the basins around the, the main front light, the high beam, are with the chrome. This is likely a model which is before 1974-75. Despite, despite the fact that the car has most of the features of a, a mid-1980s uh, model. So this car seems to present itself as a 911 Carrera. The Carrera started as a model year 1984 and we are going to see if indeed it's a Carrera or not. Some of the details that you will know over time are going to help you understand what is exactly the model year of the original shell of this car. In reality, it's not a Carrera base, and I'm going to show you what is the best indication to know that. So the two levers that you see in between the two seats that uh, regulate the heating system very likely seems to indicate that the car has been built originally before 1973. Maybe 72, 73 model year. To transform the heating system would have been a major undertaking, more than cosmetic, and it's the reason why the owner didn't do that transformation. Other information that you can find on this car is the amount of rust. Again, starting in 76, 77, uh, the shell was galvanized and is less likely to rust. When you see rust point a little bit everywhere in the car, on the car, this is very likely an earlier model. So, overall, uh, a lot of work has been done on this model. You just need to be sure what is the base and how much transformation has been performed on the car that you are looking to buy, especially if you want a genuine one. And here is my best friend, the book with all the modifications year by year. So I just given you a little bit of a summary and analysis after having seen hundreds of Porsche 911, including owning one. Thank you for listening and see you soon on other of my videos and buyer guides.